All right, guys, welcome back to another Grant Horvet Teaches. Today, we have Trent from Barstool, and we're gonna be giving him a lesson. Now, Trent, you have never broken 90 in your life yet. That's correct. I'm currently on the quest to try to break 90. It's gone up and down. I think the last one we shot, I, I shot a 106, but I've shot in a 92, so I'm all over the place, but I am currently trying to break 90. That, okay, so I kind of know what we're dealing with. We're gonna hit a couple shots here, get warmed up. We're gonna go through your entire golf bag. Okay. And we're gonna give you, a, I mean, we're not gonna change a ton. I like your golf swing. It's very simple. We're gonna change some setup things, maybe grip and alignment. Okay. A couple things. So let's hit a couple balls here. Just warm up, pull out a seven iron, let's say. That's what I always warm up with a seven iron. Oh, I love it. One thing I wanna do before you hit a ball, this, yeah. is, this goes for everybody out there. Always have an alignment stick down. So let's pick a target. Let's say that checkered red flag. So I've, I've heard a lot about alignment sticks. I see people using them. I right. have no idea how they work. So come back here. So we basically want this parallel left. So if you take two alignment sticks here, this would actually show you more of where your target's at. So we want that target, we want the feet to be parallel left of the target if they're running in two parallel lines here. Yeah. So you want the feet just left of the target. Okay. So that's perfectly there. This is kind of what we're looking yeah. at? Yeah, I like that. I like the setup. I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything, just get warmed up, okay. hit a couple shots All here. Right. Gosh, that was a good strike. See Trent, I played golf with Trent yesterday and he can strike it, he keeps it in play. There's no reason he's not breaking 90. There two go. balls going two different directions. Yeah, you got one going left, one going straight. Okay. So that ball's starting left and going left. So it it's is. starting left of the target. Let's move it just a little bit right. We got a wind we're dealing with. There we go. Oh. That wasn't bad. No. It wasn't too bad. Some people in their golf swing have all these like crazy moves they're doing. Trent's golf swing is so simple. It literally just takes it up, brings it down. He's a little steep, a little over the top, which we're going to work on. But you don't have a lot of moving pieces. Yep. Which that's a bonus because we're not having, you're not doing all these crazy moves. Yes. It's very simple. You're just coming a little steep and over the top. So what I want you to do immediately off the setup. Okay. You have a very, you have a pretty weak grip, pretty weak setup. So have you ever had your grip looked at? A little bit, yeah. Okay, that's all. I always start with that. Yes. I want to look at what's the going on here. So go ahead, grip it like you normally would. Okay. So when I open, when I look at this, take this hand off. Let's open this one up. So that's pretty good. You got it a little bit up in the palm. I want to get this a little more down in the fingers. Okay. There we go. Yep. So now it's a little bit stronger. That's going to feel horrible. It feels horrible. Horrible. Yep. If it feels horrible, you're doing it right. All right. So we got that grip a little stronger. That's You can extend that out. There we go. Okay. Right there. And now put the other hand on. So if you guys come back here on this camera, you should, this is goes for if you're looking at your buddies on the range, you should be able to see this part sitting up on top of the grip. Now that's gonna be in a stronger position there. Um, I'm not saying, I've seen a lot of successful people grip it in the palm, but for Trent, he's, he tends to struggle to get through the ball. He hits weak shots to the right with his driver. So we're gonna strengthen that grip. Now don't move it. Nope. Now hit a couple shots. Just like that. With same that. swing, same, same everything. everything. There you go. Little draw. Yeah. Hit really well. Do it again. Keep it there. So what you're doing now is you're slightly coming over the top. It's starting left and going left. Yep. I want you to feel like you're swinging out to the right a little bit. Okay. So swing out more to that, like, see that green flag? I want you in your brain, you're swinging out there. Okay. Oh, close. Oh. Really close. There we go. That's incredible. There we go. The, the grip that feels was, so strange, yes. but I like it. That was the best one. That went straight over the target, perfect. The grip is something that's gonna take some time to get used to, and you're gonna wanna trust it. So I would take it off, and I want you to do it on your own one time. I wanna okay. see if you can do it on your own. Swing out towards that green flag. Look at that green flag. That's where in your brain you should be trying to hit it. No. It's okay, a little heavy. Yeah. Have you do it again? Nice. Oh, <laughs> there's the draw. That's there's good. the draw. That's real good. So yesterday when we played Trent and I, Trent, you had a crazy setup. So you were like this. Even on your irons, 
you had a really weak grip, you were coming over the top, and you were basically hitting these weak, weak fades. And they're coming up very, very short. Yep. And you were set up like this. So now what we've done, we've got you more centered off, we've got this grip stronger, you're able to actually close the face. It's a wild way to play golf. Right, and we're gonna get to, sorry guys if there's wind, we are gonna get to the driver later in this lesson. That's gonna be a big one for Trent. Oh. That's okay, path was actually really good. Yeah. So your path was going out to the right, so you just caught the mat before it. Same thing, get that grip good. Yep, let's make sure it looks good on this side. There we go, money. So keep that and actually, you can with this right hand, you can have that right over there. Extend this a little bit, extend this forefinger, just like that. That's how a, that's how a normal <laughs> golf grip is. There you go, you extend it, now you look like a golfer. Really? You look like a real golfer, That's yep. a, All right. Oh. It's okay. It, it does feel strange, oh, I gotta yeah. tell you. There we go, Trent. Yeah, that's nice. Now it's drawing back. That was a high draw, that's pretty cool to see. There we go. Ha! <laughs> I want to do that every time. Yeah, so in your mind, I closed you off a little bit there, I dropped the right shoulder, and you're really not that close. You're almost square, Yeah. but normally you're like this. Yes. You're open, everything's aimed left, shoulder's weak, and you're coming over the top and you're swiping the golf ball. Right. We're actually doing the opposite, so we're squaring you off, dropping the right foot back and trying to get you to come from the inside. Right. And hit a powerful draw. Okay. You're gonna gain immediately like people always want to gain yardage and something that kills your yardage more than anything is actually a weak out to end path with an open club face that's what really kills it so there you go that's okay that's an okay miss yeah started down your target the wind got it a lot better on the miss there what would you say is your strong point i know you hit your irons pretty good yeah is your driver a weakness sometimes definitely okay yeah i mean it just doesn't go very far Right. That's the big problem, man. I mean, I can hit fairways, but it's easier to hit fairways when it goes 185 yards. Yeah. I have very little distance with it. That's true. And that's, that's what I saw, because when you hit those weak shots, you're, you're losing distance off the tee, and then it's harder to break 90. It's much because you're talking about, a, a, like, the gap is I have, like, 190 in as opposed to having 155, 160 in. Right. And I hit no greens in regulation because I'm almost 200 yards away on my second shot. Right. It makes it very hard. That makes sense. Let's hit a couple more here, and then we're going to move up in the bag. So I just want you to look up at that green target and you don't even have to hit the ball. Just make a practice swing and swing over to that target because we want your path working more to the right. There we go. That's the feeling. Now let those hands release. Do it again. There we go. Yeah, I can see it right on the mat here. We want that angle going out to the right. Now right. get over the ball. Cut. Use everything we've learned. There we go. Oh, it's coming back to the left. A little bit. Solid though, like that's what I want to see. That path was a little bit more zeroed out. And the thing is with Trent, because he comes over the top, we have to exaggerate it in his brain to get him to actually swing out to the right. We have to make him feel like he's swinging way to the right and he right. barely does it. <laughs> nice, that was good. That was good. That was powerful, like, look how far that's going. I laughed because I felt myself try and flip it over at the right. bottom. I like that. And that you're <laughs> feeling laugh that? out loud. No, that literally looked good. That looked great. <laughs> Do it again. All right. Nice. Contact's now, great. Now we're really cooking it over. Yeah, there. now we're getting it to actually turn over. That's the opposite of what you normally do, which you hit the weak, swipey right shots. We're actually doing the opposite. Yep. So then we'll bring it back. There we go, Trent. Look at that thing come back. Let's end on that one. That was great. Yeah. Okay. Let's move up through the bag now. So we're hitting more powerful golf shots immediately right now. Okay. Um, hybrid, three wood, which one? Do you have any preference? I use a hybrid a lot. Okay. Let's use this. I want to hit some really powerful hybrid shots. Today. So everything's same. Everything's the same. Literally everything. Driver will change because now it's teed up. We're hitting up on the ball. Yeah. Hybrid, treat it like an iron. You okay. can still hit down. You can do everything the same. Drop it back, the right foot, the same thing. Swing out to the right. We're gonna try and hit that draw with the hybrid. <laughs> okay, do it again. That was fast.
There you go. Yeah, that was much better. Put Guys working work. me. I like this. Putting in the work. Trent wants it. I do. I want Trent to break 90. I really do. I'm rooting for him. There. Ha! There it is. No, that's going so much higher and so much further. Now, whatever you just did there, store that in the memory bank in the memory bank. Think about that. Swing out to the right, weight left, same thing. We want that draw feeling. Oh ho ho ho! <laughs> that's so nice. That was it there. That was it. That was the best one of the day. Even Five. all the seven irons, everything, that was the best one of the day right there. There we go, Trent. Look at that thing go. You're not gonna get much more. I mean, no. That was that's about as good as you can hit a golf ball. You hit that from the inside, you hit a little bit of a draw there. That's exactly what we were looking for. Now let's move on to this club because yesterday you hit your irons decent. You were keeping them in play. You hit your that hybrid pretty solid. This is where I saw from an outsider's view where it was costing you the most strokes was your driver. I agree. I just think that you could gain a lot of distance with this and this is what we got to do and this is what we got to change the setup. Now we're going to apply a lot of the same stuff. The driver you're hitting up on but grip is the same. Okay. Grip is going to be a little bit stronger. We're going to feel those same exact things on the drivers. Exactly the same. So set up to it. Now use what Rory, I know Rory told you to tilt a he little did. bit like this. He did. That's fine. Okay. I like that. That's perfectly fine. Um, grip it a little stronger than that. There we go. Good. Now, let it rip. Not <laughs> bad. That's a big old draw. <laughs> Didn't really hit one of them draw. yesterday. Yep. Not a single one. That is such a better shot than what you were hitting yesterday. You actually, if you guys, you guys will see the video coming out on foreplay, but Trent was hitting these huge fades and they're starting so far left. Nice. That was a bullet. I like the way that feels a lot. That was a bullet out there. When I see golfers that have been playing with an open face, a very open club face, what happens is when they're over the ball, the way they square the face up, when you start with this really open, weak grip and you're like this, at the top, they tend to throw it and hang back. That's the way they square the face. Yep. So if you hang back and throw it, you can actually sometimes play that big cut. But what happens is the path is now working over here. You're on your back foot and you're trying to square it. Right, there's but no now, power. Exactly, there's no power in that. So now we've got your grip strong, the face is more closed. You can swing actually out to the right and it's gonna draw back just with the grip. Yep. Rip it. Okay, hair underneath it. Oh yeah. Yes! That's the one I was waiting for all day. Yes! You cannot do any better than that. Yep. Like, that is copy and paste every single time. Do it again. I'm gonna, set up, I'm gonna set up the grip for you because okay. every time I seem to set it up, you tend to hit it a you little bit. You just better. gotta follow me everywhere, everywhere yeah, we go and play. And do your grip. Before every shot, we gotta do my grip. There we go, good. <laughs> Dude, that was a little fade. Just a little fade. That was cool, but that was like powerful. That was right. Going it's not like the it's, wind. it's barely a fade. It used to be a swooping, right, disgusting slice. Really, that was powerful. That is way past rigs. I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> that is way past rigs. Yes, Trent. Dude, that one. I say we end on that. I think that's it, dude. That was it. I appreciate all your help. Dude, that, like, the one thing about today's lesson, I don't want you to now go out on the golf course and have 70 different things you're thinking about. Right. I want you to take away the grip. Yep. I want you to get that grip good. These are fundamentals. I want that a little stronger so it's easier to get through the golf ball because normally you have an open club face and you're trying so hard to square it. This will naturally square it up for you with yep. that stronger grip. Okay. And then now, obviously, just the feeling of swinging out to the right. Those yes. only two things I want you to... I don't want a million swing thoughts when you go out and try and break 90 with Frankie. Yeah. You don't need to be thinking about, okay, what did Grant say? Back foot here, here, here. Grip, swing out to the right and let it fly. You've made it very simple for me. I think those two things, if I think about those, the grip, swing out to the right, I think I'm gonna be breaking 90 soon. Hopefully you all enjoyed that video. Make sure if you have not yet subscribed to Grant Horvat Teaches, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Once again, we, have, we will have all of Trent's socials, links in the description. Make sure you go follow him. Till next time, peace.